What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. It's all of a sudden at age, what, 60? He's just going to break bad? Once again, salute to all you NYC drivers. And this clip right here shows a young man look like he having a serious issue in NYC right now. I've said it once. I've said it again. Salute to any NYC driver, any driver that is bold enough to go in any part of New York City, the boroughs, anything that happens to do with that and can drive and do the damn thing. Salute to you, bruh. Gladiators. Man, I know how to drive a truck. What the heck are you doing around here, bro? You don't know New York? Man. El no de por aquí. The other way. Oh shit, I already fucked that up on top. Look. We hit something already. The other way, the other way. Yo! Go for the other way. Alright, so in this first clip, man, we have this young man or lady uh getting some assistance from the locals to get out of this little tight, narrow situation. Now what I'm gonna start to say, don't Use your GPS for anything New York City and or otherwise. Because them GPSs, they can literally get you in some situations that you probably can't get out. Now, unfortunately, you, you'll probably get stuck and you'll have to call the cops and you know what's going to happen after that. You know, they're going to they're going to assist you. All right. But as soon as they assist you out of the situation. Of course, you're going to get a ticket for whatever the reason, because that's what New York City and New York does. For some odd reason, I'm, I'm hearing through the grapevine that they don't like truck drivers, even though we bring them their commodities. But they don't like us. They don't like us at all. So for future reference, use your map. Use your atlas. Use the Rand McNally Atlas and see if any of those areas that you get into or going into are truck friendly. Because a lot of streets, a lot of areas in New York City and the boroughs is not truck friendly. But I do respect those, those truck drivers that can handle New York City. My, my hat's off to you, bro. Gladiators. This way, this way, this way. No, forward, forward, come on, fuck. This way. Now he gotta go this way, he gotta go this way. Okay, I'm gonna stop right here. Usually I I'm, I just let the video cut through, but I, I just wanna stop right here, man. It's too confusing. Too confusing right here. That's why the driver can't figure out which way to do because you got 50 million people talking at one time. Driver, okay, you need to associate either one or two people to conversate with you so you can get out of this situation. Now, I understand you probably might be a new driver and you don't know what to do, and I get it. But with 50 million people talking at one time can get you confused and get you messed up even more than what you already are. He can't. He's going to have to do the same shit over there. Listen. Listen. Don't go straight. 
you're gonna, you're gonna have to turn here. You're gonna have to turn there. He can't turn, he can't. Who owns that car then? There's no more. There's nothing else. We don't even know if he made it out of the situation. We don't even know if he's still stuck. We don't even know if cops came or anything like that because this particular camera culture just like to record the 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 situation at hand. Like what what happened afterwards, bruh? I mean, on your tagline, you over here saying dumb truck driver part two. Well, maybe the truck driver's not dumb. Maybe the truck driver is new. Obviously, the truck driver is new because I'm going to I'm going to say that, you know, if it was a veteran truck driver or a NYC truck driver, they probably would have known the situation and how to handle it a little bit better. But you can't just walk up on the truck driver and say, yo, he's a dumb truck driver. What he's doing down here. Obviously, he got down there by his GPS. That's all. He was probably offered by his company to, you know, a little bit more money to entice him to go and make a delivery in New York because that's what these companies do. Like, yo, if you want to make a little bit extra money, yeah, we'll offer you maybe about $100, $150 to go down into New York. Trust me, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. That extra $100 and $150 is not worth you going down there trying to deliver in 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 this type of stressful situation it is not worth it my guy <laughs> okay or my girl just not worth it you get offered that tell them no thank you look the only time that you go up and drive in new york city or any of the boroughs make sure you are trained properly to do it drive with an experienced driver not a not a tonight driver not a yesterday driver not a fly by night driver a driver that has experience in driving new york city and the boroughs that's who i need to be with put me with that guy okay because if you guys going up there all blind following the gps you're going to get end up in the situation just like this Big cheese got it locked, boy. Want you to love me all night, yeah, take me down. Want you to make me real wet, yeah, swim around. Want you to take it like a G, you know what I mean?